All right, folks. So yesterday was the 16th day of Andrew Brown protests in the small town of Elizabeth City, North Carolina. And uh, so I would also like to say that yesterday was also relatively uneventful. Uh, we had little to no police interactions, um, which is very surprising considering that they were like occupying the whole city. But we had little to no police interactions overall. Um, they just kind of like disappeared after a little bit. Um, but yesterday uh, was a very interesting but also slightly abnormal day. Um, and so I'm walking to the scene and there's so many state troopers here. Like, I mean, there's so goddamn many. Like, they just keep coming, as you can see in this video. There's just so many of them. Um, and then they're everywhere. Like, you just see cops everywhere. Like, they're just all over the fucking place. Also, this is a really good sign here. Um, but yeah, so there's like cops everywhere. Uh, and I just, I have to play, I have to play this clip. It was so good. So this kid, no this kid is like got the megaphone and is like, you know, getting everyone fired up. And it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> what are you doing? Y'all are playing? Are you slacking? Come on. It's amazing. I just like this kid. I just, again, I just have to say this kid is amazing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so good. I like, I like, just like, I know, like, there's part of me that like wants to cry because of the idea of a kid knowing what any of that means. Right, but then it's also like, yo, that kid is amazing. Also, look at this guy. Like, I, this guy looks like a fucking celibite from Hellraiser. Like, what? Like, the all like, I'm not. Even, and I'm not trying to be. And I'm not trying to be this guy. I'm not trying to be like this person who's out here uh, telling you, you know, that like, you know, these people look like celibites or whatever they are. Um, but this motherfucker looks like. Uh, this guy looks like Butterball from motherfucking Hellraiser. And I just, like, like, I'm sorry, man, but, like, what the fuck? Okay, so I w I'm getting you a photograph here real quick. I'm getting y'all a photograph um, so that y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all have seen Hellraiser, right? Y'all have seen Hellraiser. You know what I'm talking about. This motherfucker looks like Butterball from Hellraiser. Look at him. Okay, look at this motherfucker. And look at Butterball. <laughs> Cenobites, is that what it is? Cenobites. Okay, thank you. I haven't seen Hellraiser in a couple years. But the, di like, the, the, it's uncanny, right? Like, this motherfucker looks like Butterball. Like, look at that guy. What is happening? What is going on there? Like, I'm sorry. Like, I hate to be that person. I really do. And I'm not, like, you know, I'm not, like, making fun of them because of their... Well, I, let's be I am. I am making fun of them. But, like, god damn. Like, when you look like Butterball, I mean, can you really, like, can you blame me, though? Like, you're looking like a motherfucking cartoon character out here. Like, I'm sorry, but it's just... Lord have mercy. Uh, so, okay. So, yesterday, um, apparently... Um, we had a permit only for, uh, Main Street and Colonial, which are the streets around the courthouse. Um, and so, now, I initially was under the impression, uh, that we were going to march around the courthouse and then go somewhere else. But apparently, either the person who filed the permit, and again, you know, permits, right? Like, I can go into that. But, uh, either the person who filed the permit didn't want us to leave, or the city themselves, like, didn't want us to leave this area. So people, like, you know, decided after, uh, you know, the cops are just kind of, like, fucking around. Uh, they Like, the cops keep, like, putting these, like, things out and then putting them back. Like, as you can see, when Butterball is here in this clip, right, when this guy is here, there's no barriers, right? And then there's barriers again, and then they remove them, right? So it's just, like, really bizarre. Uh, and so people, like, just decide, you know what? We don't want to deal with that. We're just going to go to the rest of the city. Um, but also people are aware that, you know, they don't have a permit. And so I, I, now, again, I just want to be very clear that this whole permit thing, 
Um, you know, people are discussing what to do about it. Um, yesterday, people decided that we're just going to protest on the sidewalk and scream at cars, which was actually pretty good. Uh, it was actually pretty good because a lot of the cars were very supportive uh, and a lot of people like parked uh, like in the middle of the intersection, they would slow down and start joining the chants and stuff. It was like, it was pretty good. Um, and so we go from there to the bridge. And as you can see, we're just, you know, I got some like good shots here of the sky. The sky is beautiful. I just have to say. The sky is beautiful. Um, but you know, so we go to the bridge. And so, uh, the bridge is where you see a lot of racists. Um, you see a lot of racists at the bridge because, you know, they're going home across the bridge or, you know, here <laughs> on this side of the bridge. And so we had a couple of people like come by and pick up trucks and like yell at us and stuff. It was very funny. Uh, but like really yesterday was rather uneventful. Uh, there was not much marching. Um, and really the permit thing is really strange. And so like around this time, we all just started discussing what we're gonna do today today being yesterday's tomorrow um, in regards to the permit. And so like, we're gonna come up with alternative strategies here. Uh, but a lot of people were very uncomfortable with the idea uh, that permits are restricting them. And uh, you know, a lot of people don't like being on the sidewalk, myself included, I'm not much of a sidewalk person. But either way, this is also something that we had to deal with uh, on the way uh, out of the protest area. <laughs> This is a very interesting, very interesting interaction here. As you can see, we have some fine individuals here. No peace! No peace! Look at these motherfuckers, dude. I like, I literally, <laughs> like, I'm Santa Claus over here. Like, we got Butterball on one side of the stream, we got Santa Claus on the other. Like, what the fuck is happening in, the, like, the absolute state of Elizabeth City right now? The absolute motherfucking state of Elizabeth motherfucking city. We got Butterball and we got Santa Claus in one motherfucking town. Stop! All right, I just, um, But then I see this, I see this treat. I see the don't tread on me flag. The don't Andrew tread on me flag and the thin blue line flag on one motorcycle. One motherfucking motorcycle. Don't tread on me. Thin blue line. I mean, you know. Only the really, I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ. I, I, Lord have motherfucking mercy. Um, Lord have motherfucking mercy. But anyway, that's the last clip I recorded. After that, uh, people sat around and talked about what we're going to do today. And I'm not, you know, about, about like ready to give any of those details out. Like I, you know, I know cops are watching the stream. Um, but, uh, so like, you know, we spent the rest of the day just kind of strategizing what we're going to do about the permits. Um, and so we, you know, I'll, you know, I'll let you know what's happening today. Uh, but again, like, I, like, I just want to spend a little bit of time on the permit stuff. Because the city is trying to basically tamper down the movement by like, you know, stuffing us into certain corners, telling us we can only do certain things and not others. And there are some people that are okay with that. There are some people that are okay with doing everything within the legal parameters, the quote unquote legal parameters. Now they're illegal because the First Amendment guarantees the right to uh, freedom of assembly as long as it's peaceful um, in order to express our grievances with the state. That's what the First Amendment allows for, right? So the permits are illegal. But I understand why people do want to go through all of the, you know, technical procedures. Because then if the cops do over overstep their boundaries, they look even more foolish. But my counterpoint to that is they're going to look foolish regardless. They're going to look like fucking fools no matter what happens, right? Like the idea of playing patty cake or playing hopscotch with our oppressors here and it's like, oh, you got to get a little permit. And then we get a little permit like a good little doggy. I'm sorry. I don't I don't agree with that point of view. Uh, now, again, I am not in any position to be leading a movement. So I like I'm going there and I'm, I'm interacting, I'm participating and I'm documenting. That's my role. Um, but I mean, at the same time, during these segments, I'm more than happy with giving my opinion. And I am not satisfied with the permit. I am not satisfied with the police presence. I am not satisfied with any of that 
Um, I am 100% fully, uh, you know, under the impression that if we're out here playing patty cake with the cops, then it looks like we look stupid. That's my impression. Um, and, and so like, and a lot of people agree with me. A lot of people disagree with me. And that's something that we're talking about on how to go forward in regards to the permit. Um, you know, that's how people are, you know, feeling right now. Uh, because if they're only allowing us to have a permit for like three streets and they expect us to march in three streets, that's not much of a protest. Now, if it's a permit that says, okay, the whole street is occupied and we're going to take down the whole city. Okay. I'm fine with the permit. But if the permit is restricting us to like two or three fucking streets, then it becomes an actual problem. Uh, like, you know, for example, the last couple days, I have had no problem with the permit. I've had no problem. Like, I have had more of a problem with the police presence than I had with the permit. But if the permit is going to say you can only march on these three streets and you can't do anywhere else, then that's a problem. As far as I'm concerned, the permits should be open-ended. They should be allowing for whatever we decide in the moment. Um, and I feel like they're far too restrictive as of this current moment in time. And I feel like those in power, that be the mayor, the council, uh, the county commissioners, I think that they're taking advantage and they're trying to be ultra restrictive. Um, that's what they're trying to do. Um, and it's, it's a huge problem. So that's kind of what we're dealing with here. Um, you can get the permit and then do whatever. That is not true. Uh, at least right now in the in the, in the town of Elizabeth City, that is not true. They specifically stated that we cannot be on any of these uh, three or four roads um, without. We need to have a permit for each road ahead of time. That's what they have explicitly stated. Right now, it it first was that we have a permit for a time in a meeting place. That was, and then it became, you need a permit for a time in a meeting place and you can only block certain roads. And now it's, you need a permit for a time, a meeting place and whatever roads you're going to be on and you can't change it. Like, so they are changing the way the permit game is played. And this is why I don't think we should play the permit game. Like if they're going to be changing the rules constantly on what we're allowed to do when it comes to this permit, we shouldn't bother getting a permit. Either that, or we should get so many permits that they have to shut the whole city down. Like, if they want to make us register each street in advance, all right, we'll have a permit for each fucking street. That's what we should do. And so again, and I'm telling you again, like being someone on the ground here, that there are people figuring out a way around it. Uh, there are people that are like, you know, probably either going to say fuck the permit altogether or try to put together better permits. Um, but as of right now, uh, you know, we're in this position where like for the past like two days or so, we've been kind of playing patty cake with the cops in a way. And I personally don't like it. Um, and I can tell you a lot of other people don't like it. And a lot of other people are not satisfied because if the police are controlling how we protest, and we're protesting the police. You know what I'm saying here? Um, but yeah, so that was basically the protest. We had some really good energy for the start. Uh, and uh, we kept it going as much as we could, even though there was a state of confusion. And I'm telling you right now that there's going to be some uh, more things happening in Elizabeth City over the course of this weekend. Uh, by the end of this weekend, I can tell you that there's going to be uh, some definite changes to the organizational structure. Uh, but that, you know, that shit takes time. And so we're going to be spending the next couple days planning uh, more serious demonstrations um, and that kind of stuff. So we'll see how it goes. I send you info on Blinken on Discord. Okay, thank you very much. This bench is only satisfied after a four hour session. What can I say? What can I say? I have high standards. What can I say? 
Fuck the police with the assistance of the police. Yeah, that's not my thing. Um, like, and again, I'm saying that as a personal, as an opinion of a personal individual. Um, you know, I'm not about, like, I'm not going to go out there and act like, like a crazy person and tell people what to do at a protest, but I will state my opinions on my own show. Are the numbers staying steady? We basically have had, since the start of it, since day one, a group of about 50 people that show up every single day. Um, except for, like, the rain, maybe 25 people that have shown up every single day. Right, but outside of the rain, we have, like, a probably around 50 or 60 people that will show up every single day. Um, and so, and then, like, some days we've got a couple hundred. Uh, last weekend, we had, like, 800 people, right? So, it, you know, we're holding the line. We have a good amount of people that are holding the line. And so that it's, it's a good enough amount of people. Permits are for parades, not protests. I fucking agree. I absolutely agree, 100%. Um, Four-hour sessions are really difficult to manage. Lots of hydration needed. I would, I'm very familiar with the amount of hydration that's required. Um, fuck all cops, I agree. Uh, but I should also specify that you know not in the good dick way of course um yeah 50 people showing up every day in such a small town is quite a showing i agree like again this is not like you know it's minneapolis or fucking seattle right like this is small town motherfuck bumfuck shit fuck you know north fucking motherfucking fuck so, like, the idea that we're getting this many people consistently is very, very good. Oh, you get your second shot tomorrow? That's cool. Anyway, uh, that's the recap segment for day 16. Um, day 17, I will keep you all posted. Um, shit's going to change. Um, and, you know, hopefully for the good, hopefully for the better. And I will definitely keep you all posted, so for sure. Um, if anyone has any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to let me know in the comments section. Um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hate, I hated living in North fucking fuck. Yo, same. <laughs>